Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikarili from Excel Basement and uh, in this video we will be learning that uh, how to extract data from the PDF file into the Power BI by using the Power Query. So let's get start. Uh, I recently I got to one of the assignment and that was that I need to uh, get collection of the data of all the Pakistani banks uh, regarding their deposits. So definitely we have a website that is called the State Bank of Pakistan website sbp.org.pk from where I know that uh, all the banks uh, report their deposits position uh, periodically to the state bank for different uh, purposes. So State Bank of Pakistan on their website uh, issues uh, or you can say they publish the deposits positions of all the scheduled banks of Pakistan. So let me just find out. Okay, so here it is. So the total deposit of scheduled banks stock half yearly, and this is updated till the August 16, 2019. So when I click on this link, I got the PDF file from this website. I downloaded that file and uh, I opened that file in this browser. So you can see that this is a entirely a PDF file where we have a data year wise and the month wise of all the scheduled banks in Pakistan which are stocked so and and th these are based on the weekly statement of position which covers the domestic operation of banks within the Pakistan so this is a one page PDF format file and uh, I have a data and what I need is I need to push this data into the power BI so commonly uh, you have heard that uh, you just import the data from the Excel file, XLS files, or you can connect to any of the ERP software by the API, uh, which Power BI uh, accepts. So there is a very interesting feature that now the Power BI uh, uh, have the compa compatibility, or you can say the functionality that it can extract the data from the PDF files as the Power Query is now very much stronger tool within the Power BI. So I will just, uh, import this PDF file and I will extract the data because uh, as I know that uh, this PDF file is OCR based and uh, it is a readable text okay let me just try it out so if I write total deposit so you can see that in, in the search bar when I write total DE so it initially searches within uh, this text within this PDF page file page okay so uh, how to do in the power bi definitely i am using this uh, power bi interface which is uh, which is the latest version desktop version november 2019 so you can see the difference of the interface as you are using the power bi version depending depends and i am using november 2019 version so the uh, new interface has been uh, given by the microsoft this is the ribbon layout uh, interface as just we see in the other Microsoft Office products like Excel, Word and PowerPoint. So you just need to go to the feature that is called get data, click on get data and then I will click on more. So here you can uh, select the PDF because you need to extract the data from the PDF. So you need to import the file of the PDF. Um, uh, and there are a lot of resources are given now so it's uh, an amazing tool so I will just select PDF here and I will click on connect definitely uh, a new screen will pop up and uh, I need to choose the location of that PDF file and after that choosing that PDF file uh, let's see what happens so let's start so now as you can see that uh, I have a window that's called the navigator and uh, uh, the, the file name is the deposits.pdf uh, as you can see that there are two options uh, given by this power bi uh, so there is a table in that pdf file okay and uh, in that pdf file we have just one page so either we need to uh, import that entire page or we need just a table that's the that's contain the data right so we in in our case uh, we need to check on the table okay and uh, because we need to do some transformations right so uh, what i will do is i will not just load the data i will transform the data so that uh, this data will push into the power query window 
where we need to do some transformation or adjustment according to setting the data and then we will load that and then we will move towards the bi so i just check on the table right and i will click on transform data so now this data is in the power query editor window okay so as you can see that the uh, power bi smartly extracted the data from the pdf file now what we need to do is we need to adjust the data or the transform the data according to a requirement so as you can see in the raw number one you can uh, see that there are information of years is given 2002 3 4 5 so we need to make this row as a headers of the column so for doing that in the home tab you can see that there is a feature called use first row as headers i will click on that so quite very quickly uh, this for that first row has become the headers of the columns right and now what i need to do is i need to make the this data into a transactional form okay and for doing that i will choose the unpivot columns uh, functionality so from 2002 till 2019 i will select all these columns okay and i will go to the transform tab and here you can see that there is a functionality or a feature which is called unpivot columns so i will click on the unpivot columns and what it can what it does that uh, it just uh, make this uh, reporting data into the converted into the transitional raw wise data or you can say that normalize the data okay so now i have uh, every year january month uh, deposits amount okay then uh, or every year february month deposits amounts and similarly it goes to the january to december for all the years right and then i can just rename the titles instead of value i can write the amount for the attribute instead of attribute i will write years and then the first column heading will be the months so, so i have done all this transformation if you want to um, format any of the column according to their property or attribute you can do that as well so after doing all these steps what we can do is we can just close and apply and now you can see that all our data has been transformed imported from the pdf file into the power bi and now and from moving onwards we can now uh, make our dashboards or we can uh, extract any numbers from this given data so here is a table one i will right click on this and rename as banks deposits okay so here is my transform data so very easily you just extracted the data from the pdf file into the power bi what if uh, if you need this data in the excel in microsoft excel uh, so there is one one of the way is that you will click on transform data again this data will be in the power query editor so you can see that there is a button uh, just like a small icon of a table you will click on that and in this contextual menu very first option which is called copy entire table click on this go to the microsoft excel open a blank spreadsheet press ctrl v for the paste so you got all the data in microsoft excel from the power bi see so there is a huge transformation this pdf file into uh, the power bi and then you can just modify the data pdf file in, and got your modified data into the microsoft excel and now you can do the further analysis with that data very easily by having the functions or formulas or a pivot table around in either in the power bi or microsoft excel so i hope you like this feature uh, if you have any questions uh, do comment below thank you so much